All right, so let's look at problem 39. In A, we know that uh, u is 20. We know that there's 45% above 30, and we don't know what sigma is. Okay, so if we draw a quick little picture there, mu is 20, and 45% are above 30, so 30 must be to the right, and this must be 45%. So now, we got to figure out what the z-score is, right? So the z-score for this, going from left to right, this would be the 55th percentile, all right? So what we're going to do there, this is the 55th percentile going from left to right, is we're going to do second distribution, uh, inverse norm, 0.55, and that gives us a z-score of 0.126. So I'm going to set up an equation, 0.126 equals... x, which would be 30, minus mu over sigma, just using our z-score formula, okay? So if we cross multiply, we get 0.126 sigma equals 30 minus 20, which is 10, and then we divide both sides by 0.126, and we get uh, about 79.4, okay? In B, what do we know? We know that mu is 88. And we know that 2% are below 50. And we know, don't know what sigma is again. Okay? So, draw a picture. Mu is 88. 50 is over here somewhere. 2% are below. So we got to figure out what percentile that is to do our z-score. So going from left to right, that would be the second percentile, right? So we're going to do inverse norm at 0.02. And that gives us a z-score of negative 2.054. So right here, z equals negative 2.054. So we're going to go to our z-score formula. z equals x minus mu over sigma. And we're going to fill in. Negative 2.054 equals x, 50, minus mu, 88, over sigma. Cross multiply, we get negative 2.054. Sigma equals negative 38. Divide negative 38 by negative 2.054. And you get around... 18.5. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to C. So what do we know in C? We know that sigma is 5, uh, and we know that 80% are below 100, and we want to know what mu is. So here we go. So there's a phone ringing in the background. I apologize for that. We're going to draw a picture. We don't know what mu is, but we know that 100 must be here. 80% are below that. Okay. So now we got to turn this into a z-score. So this would be the 80th percentile. And that's 0.842. So right here, z equals 0.842. So we get a z, so we're going to use our z-score formula of x minus mu over sigma. So z is 0.842 equals x, which is 100, minus mu over 5. So we multiply 5 times 0.842, and we get 4.21 equals 100 minus mu. Okay. We subtract 100 from both sides, so we do 4.21 minus 100, and we get negative 95.79 equals negative mu. 
Divide both sides by negative 1, we get mu equals 95.79. Okay? And then the last one is D. And we know that sigma is 15. We know that 10% are above 17.2. And again, we want to know what mu is. So we draw a picture. Okay? And we don't know what mu is. We know that there's 10% above 17.2. So we got to figure out what what uh, z score that is. So we're going to do uh, inverse norm. Now, if this is 10%, and that must mean that's the 90th percentile. So we're going to do inverse norm of the 90th percentile, and we get 1.28. Okay, so this is z equals 1.28. So we get our z-score formula, 1.28 equals x, which is 17.2, minus mu, over sigma, which is 15. Cross multiply 1.28 times 15, we get 19.2 equals 17.2 minus mu. We subtract 17.2 from uh, both sides. And we're going to wind up with uh, 2 equals negative mu. And if we divide both sides by negative 1, we get mu equals about negative 2.